So stretch sideways, down pelvis back and frame forward. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Manuel Favilla and I'm Natalia Maine. Welcome to our Chacha tutorial. Today we are very excited because we have the pleasure uh, to guide you through the learning uh, experience of uh, Chacha uh, Natural Top. And one and two and three and cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one, two, three. Cha cha one two three cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and two three and cha cha one and okay now let's start to understand how to do the natural top the function of the natural top is to create a very strong centrifugal force still maintaining beauty in the upper part of the body and keeping a very clear rhythmicality in the feet. In order to do that from a male perspective, I need to make sure that I do two things. First, I need to create momentum when I enter into the top. And then the second thing, together with my partner, I will be very focused on maintaining that momentum as we, as we go around each other. Now, um, let's start from the first step, actually the entrance into the natural top. If I start from my one, two, I do a check, I do a plate, and then I am my cha-cha one. This is a very important step because on that one, through the foot place, placement and the body weight transfer, I'm gonna indicate the direction. So very important directions of the step. And the second thing very important is to understand through the frame to create the space, and then man how to maintain it, what I have to do to do that. So once I do two and three and cha-cha one, what I'm physically doing, I am thinking about stretching my elbows sideways and giving my frame forward to my partner. And the purpose is, so let's do and one and two and three and cha cha one so now as i stretch my elbow sideways i have created width and through giving my frame forward i will start to build up an internal position that it starts actually from the position of the pelvis what i'm thinking as i get the frame is to give the frame forward and at the same time I will dance my pelvis backward, away from my partner, right? Which doesn't have to be misunderstood with tilting my, the pelvis back. Like for example, we do in Samba. That's a completely different movement. What is the difference? When we tilt the pelvis backward, I keep the upper part of the, pelvis, of the uh, hip bone exactly where it is, but the lower part changes um, distance from the floor, let's say, because it goes a little bit up, right? While when I dance my pelvis straight back, the old box, he box, it moves parallel to the floor, right? So I need to think about really dance my pelvis backward, both the upper part of the pelvis and the lower part, right? So let's try one more time. We have and one and two and three and cha cha one okay so stretch sideways dance pelvis back and frame forward all right now we have already created enough space between each other so we can dance in it all right so once i have done the first step one as you can see this is this is a one type of side step we're gonna dance as a male two type of side step. Could be either slightly forward or slightly back. If I show you from the side, it will be not just a regular side step, but it's gonna be slightly forward or slightly back. It's not actually a diagonal step, that's different. If I do, what is the difference? If I do a side step 
slide before work, the position of the foot will remain the same. If I do diagonally, then my body will change as well, all right? So if I'm gonna go, it's exactly the same uh, foot position, but I will place the foot slightly forward, that's all. Now, the purpose of, of, this, uh, the, of this detail is because I need to create, first of all, momentum, and then enough space for my right foot that is gonna cross back. And through the change of my, actually my eyes, through my eyes, I will start the rotation, and then as I step, the, the sternum will follow. And that's how I will let uh, Natalia understand what kind of steps we're gonna dance, all right? So let me try and show this to you. So we're gonna dance. And one and two and three and cha cha one all right beautiful now um the next step is going to be a delayed walk backward now the uh, the particular part about this step is that it start with a toe and then continue that ball flat as I am rotating, all right? So as I do my one, two, now I place the toe. And as I continue turning the sternum and as a consequence the frame, I will lower, I will, I will continue the placement of the heel down as I step to the side, yeah? So I will dance my two and three and Cha cha one and two and three. Now, from this position, this side step it becomes slightly back because the next step I need to create space for my uh, cross in front. Every time we dance cross in front, we have to remember that uh, the foot doesn't really replace, but I have to, through a swiveling action, I just have to rotate the, the toe and the, through the work of the uh, left ankle, I'm going to tuck my knees together. And that's gonna be a large cross, yeah? So if I do my one, two, three, now I have cha-cha one. On that cha-cha one, that side step, it's only a ball because it's gonna be half a beat. I don't have time really to lower the heel there. So it's gonna be, and one, two, three. Now, cha, cha. I do not lower the heel. The heel stays up. And then I cross in front. And then I continue. Two, three. Cha, cha, one. Now, here on the second bar, I'm going to dance the chasse. And the reason why I dance the chasse, because we always alternate who creates momentum and uh, who follows it? Who stays on the inside of the circle? Who stays on the outside? On the very first bar, cha, cha, one, two, three. I'm gonna stay in the center because I'm dancing cross in front, side cross in front. And, um, and on the second bar, when I dance my chasse, I'm gonna be on the outside circle, all right? So we have two, three, cha, cha, one, two, three, cha, cha, one, two, three, cha, cha, one. So as you, as you can see, it's like uh, if that is the center, I am dancing chasse around it. I'm not dancing towards the center. This is the, one of the most common struggle where we feel really, really crowded. The space becomes so small and then we go up. So in order to avoid that, we have to be very clear and aware of the space and directions between um, the two of us. So to finish that, we have cha, cha, one. Now across behind, then I have a side step. I will draw them here. I cross behind, then I go sideways. And then I start to do my action to dance my uh, lock step forward, cha cha one. The particular part about that one, the third step of a lock step, it seems I have to go into an open and out. My frame 
changes, so basically rotates before I'm doing the actually while I do the one because it has to be rotated before the two, right? So if I do slowly, it will be and cha cha one and two and. Now on two and my frame has to be on the right side, like extremely on my right side. Otherwise, I will not create space for my partner. And I dance my two end. Now on three end, I need to replace the frame as I dance my delayed walk backward. So I have check, two end, three end. Now on the end, I just a toe. Now I have cha, cha, and one and two. Three and cha, cha, one end. Just last thing I would like to mention, when I dance with the, my round de chasse, we said there is a toe, then is a ball of foot. Now, as I dance my ball of a foot, I have this um, slide of the right foot. What is the purpose of that slide? First of all, I need to create space for Natalia hip, because she will dance a beautiful motion here. And then, to, together with that slide, I'm gonna create space between my rib cage and my hip bone in order to, to create momentum for my one, in order to dance um, impressive, right? One end, two end, three end, cha, cha end, one end, two, three end, cha, cha, one end. Dance Today continues to create entertaining and educational content because of the contributions from viewers like you. If you would like to donate to the channel, please click on the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you for your support.